Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you from all over the world. Uh, welcome to uh, my page. And I'm Rebecca, a stay-at-home mom of three and a digital business owner. Today, I have a special guest with me, my coach. Uh, she just turned to become a business coach today. So welcome, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hi, good good morning, morning, Rebecca. Morning. Hi. Okay. Uh, today, um, we would like Elaine to introduce herself. Um, yeah. Tell us all about you. You know, introduce us and sure. let us know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. First of all, I'd like to thank Rebecca for inviting me to be uh, uh, to to have this short interview with her. So happy about it. And then uh, my name is I'm Elaine. I'm a full-time working mother. I have three young kids, the same, uh, same as Rebecca. And I'm also an online digital entrepreneur coming to two years and recently uh, decided to, uh, you know, uh, take a step further to into this business to become uh, a coach. It has been about one month plus or, or yeah. a bit more. I think more, two, two months. Yeah, coming two months. Yeah, so far yeah. so good. Yeah, so it's amazing how, you know, um, you have progressed over these two years. Uh, so, um, you know, it could be it, it could be yeah. It could be earlier, but because that um, I've been procrastinating, that I'm thinking that I may not have enough time, um, you know, you all know that like, mom have multiple hats. We have we are on, only given twenty four hours a day. Well, so I was worried that you know I may not be able to cope. But in the end, I still decided to go for it because we wouldn't know if we we didn't try. <laughs> so yes. after yeah. so many months of procrastinating, I decided to just step. I ah, just go ahead, just do it. Yeah, finally. And I did it. Yes, and I did it. Yeah. Then it's okay, not so bad. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And um, so uh, I, I would like you to share with the audience some pain and struggles before you started this uh, online business. Okay. Actually, uh, being online, is it was not in my intention. It was not. Um, but the thing is, uh, because that I'm a strong believer of uh, having a passive income, a plan B is, is very important. Uh, you can have one plan, two plan, multiple plan, as many plan as you like. But it's very important to have one at the minimum because that uh, you you see nowadays nowadays we are a lot of us are in a in a in a middle or a, a slightly lower upper class or, or even a lower class. Then just surviving on one salary itself is not enough. It's not enough. Uh, usually, most of majority of us, husband and wife, have to work. They have dual income. Or to sustain one household, and not to even mention about uh having to take care of the the young younger kids uh you know education taking care of the elderly or even planning for a good comfortable retirement, or uh, you just don't want to rely on your kids at all. So it's like it's getting more and more impossible. You can see the 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 school fee is increasing, the standard of living is increasing, and but the thing is, uh, you all of us say that one thing. Salary, how come salary is not increasing? It's not increasing as per the rate of the standard of livings and the, as the, the school fees goes. So what else can we do? Look for a part-time job or what? No, cannot. So I have been for the past decades, I've been looking for passive income, searching from one to the other, trying from one to the other. Um, I have been, I try actually for quite a number of it, uh, multiple um you know, different platforms and all this thing until to the end. It's, it's not as if that I didn't earn anything. I don't have any uh, residual income. I do. But it's something is missing. Something is really missing somewhere that um, I couldn't find a satisfaction. It's not to my expectations uh, because to a point that why I say so is I lost my time. I lost my time while seeking for those passive income. I... I realized that I have to attend meetings. I have to attend meet people, meet client, meet customer after work. And I have, you know, every one of us, nine to five. Is it really nine to five? No, we don't do nine to five. It's really a lot of 
more than nine to five over time. Those are unspoken over time. So after that, I have to go and meet all these things, attend all these extra things. And I realized that by the time I, I go out to work, my kids are sleeping, getting to school. By the time I came back home, they're sleeping already. They're sleeping already. It was at one stage that I was working and I'm doing all this thing. Then my daughter came and tell me, Mommy, you don't have time for us anymore. You don't have time. You are, you're always away. You're, you're working or whatever. You're meeting people, you know, or doing closing sales, trying to, trying to have this extra additional income that it's really, I don't think it's just, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't make any sense at all already at, at that stage of point. And then also another thing is that because of all that I've done, my circle, my social circle of friends became lesser and lesser. They, they kind of like, uh, you know, don't want to be friend with me anymore. Says that you, you want to sell me something. You want to sell me something. You, uh, the moment they say, oh, they, they, they saw my message, hey, Elaine, um, they, they were just like, uh, you, you, you must be trying to sell me something. I, I don't want to reply you. Or even I have friends who tell me, say, uh, you want to meet me for, for copy, right? You don't, don't sell me anything. Then I'll meet you. Uh, it, it was, it was to an extent that I, I'm lost. I do not know what to do. And it was at that time that, you know, I saw, uh, my mentor. She was actually a, a friend of a friend of mine, but we are not that close. We are not that close. It's just that you know, acquaintance, Facebook. You know, we, we know each other. Hey, we act as friend, but we don't really like like speak too much. Uh, too too much or, or often to each other. It's only until I saw, I, I know one of her posts that she's doing some meditation thing. Then I think that oh maybe, uh I. I should, you know, join some meditations to clear my mind, you know, uh, so that mm -hmm. I have a more, more uh, directive, more, more direct, uh, focused directions for me to move forward. So mm -hmm. that's how it started. Yeah. So that's my pain and struggle before I start this online business because that uh, when I saw her post, I realized that she's also doing something. She's also doing something yeah. online. So, you know, at that time, when I, I was like reflecting, since I've done so many other things without success, I'm not happy at all. I was like, you know, I, I started to, you know, having more conflict with my husband, uh, just simply unhappy with life, really unhappy with life. I'm angry. I cried a lot more. Just say, then think that, you know, since I have already tried so many without much happiness, without much success as it's just that coincidentally, I was asking my mentor, my friend at that time, that you know she's she uh, on this meditation thing and she's doing something online. Yes, I was I was telling myself that, okay. The only thing that I haven't done is online, so why not? So why not? So that's how mm. it started. How it started two years ago, that I'm which here is, having yeah which yeah. Which is why you decided. <laughs> to have this online business? Correct. Correct. The why I decided to have this online business is that, you know, I've tried so many, so many other platforms. I've tried so many mm -hmm. things. Like I've uh, done like direct selling. I've done like MLM. I've done like, uh, you know, uh, micro marketing. Um, yeah. I have also seek out, tried to seek out e-commerce and drop shippings, but it's, it's not something that I want because e-commerce and drop shipping there's a lot of logistics to do. A lot of things that I have friends who are, who were in there and uh, they struggled. So I say, okay, no, no, no. I, I want more time. It's not something that I want. So it dropped. I didn't try. I didn't try e-commerce and drop shipping, but I, I know enough not to start. <laughs> so, mm. and also all the rest of the other stuff, I have to stop, 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 uh, you know, uh, stuff at home. I have to meet people and all these things sell. It's not easy. It, it's not. Uh, anyway, anyway, having a business is not easy. It's just that, you know, it doesn't, it just defeat the time that I want more time. I don't have, I don't have the time that I want. But this mm -hmm. business, this online business allow me to do so. Even at home that, you know, when I just started that I have my training at the comfort of my own home. I can do the yeah. training after my kids sleep. Yeah, okay, I do have to sacrifice my sleep, but then I'm home, you see? Yes. I'm home, yeah. Whenever they need me, I'm there. 
yeah and it and this this business doesn't need me to be there 24 7 you know i just spent about at the very beginning two hours two hours or sometimes or even lesser i cheat there as well and i just leave my business one side and it just run it's simply yeah. just so amazing <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which is why I decided to join this as well. Because it, if I were to go back to work, like I've shared many times before, if I were to go back to work, I would be just away from my children, you know, a big part of the day. And I might not, like what you, like what you shared, I might not be able to see them when they're awake or asleep. Which is, yeah, to me, is I, I can't take... I can't. I, I just can't get past that that stage, or you know, I just yeah. don't want to put myself into that situation. Yeah, you know that I'm also very grateful that you know I started that is I started this about two years ago when the whole pandemic came, and you know now yes. in Singapore we have the home based learning. My kids are at home, and yeah. it's that it, it's just like a repeated cycle again and again, again and again. And then, you know, my, my kids, my eldest one, she's in primary three, she's nine years old. Uh, in Singapore, there's, you know, that uh, we have, this is the first year that they're going to have exam. So during the home-based learning, not to say about all the rest of it, but just this week alone, this week alone, and I'm really grateful that I'm at home. I am at home. Every day without fear, she'll come to me, mommy, I don't know how to do this. Mommy, how to do that? Zoom, I don't know how to go into Zoom. Kids mm. nowadays have to go into Zoom. You know, when yeah. I started to do Zoom, is I was already as a working adult. A working adult, like many, many years later. <laughs> and now, at nine years old, and my second one, my second one at five years old, they have to go into Zoom. So how how the world has you know has evolved, how the world has progressed. So we, we also move on and I'm really grateful that I have my business online. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Online. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> so online and digital world is, is is the way to go now. And yeah, I'm glad we we are both in this. Like even though I Every came in day, later, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, ne it's, later, but, yeah, it's, it's better never, late than it's never. never. Yes. Mm. Correct. I'm, I'm glad, yeah. So, okay. Um, now, the next question. Um, what is the biggest change that you have experienced since you started this um, online business? There's a lot of changes that I experienced, uh, you know, for this coming, for these two years. Um, I cannot say... Uh, I couldn't really specifically mention any of the biggest one because all the changes are very significant to me. Like, mm -hmm. I have my time back. I, I really have my time back and I managed to upgrade my house. I just shifted into wow. my new place. Uh, Congratulations. In August. Yes. <laughs> and um, initially, uh, from before many years ago, we would never be able to... Upgrading of the house has never been in our thoughts. Because we were very scared that, you know, standard of living in Singapore is so high. If we upgrade ourselves, how can we manage? But because of this business, it gave me the courage and the confidence that we are able to do so. So we did. And my husband actually, uh, you know, he decided to get a car also. So he, he so we have a car and we have, uh, you know, our upgrade our house, our house that I have my time back. And of course, that in any of the business, we want... We want the return on investment, right? And thankfully for me that I am experiencing it now, I'm able to see saving in my account. Because all the years, it's always money in, money out, money in again, money out again. Somehow that there's a force, there's a magnetic, say money come in already, it kind of suck it out, suck it out, suck it out. <laughs> Even if those all those times, you know, I have I have my I have my passive income coming in from the other source of platform, it will still go up. It still go up, you know, unknowingly. And you, you you really wonder why I was it was also one of the reasons why I was so lost, I was so frustrated. That you know, no matter how I do, I I put in so many hundred and one percent of my all the effort, all this thing, I couldn't see the money. So now I, I am looking, I am having this uh, nice enjoyment 
I'm seeing the money in the saving. So this mm -hmm. is one of the changes. The other changes is the upgrading of the house and the car. And also um, myself, myself, my overall development from this business, which they must take the biggest credit. You, you all, the people in this business, they are the, they are also one of my biggest credit that they, they are the biggest credit that, you know, uh, improve my whole overall. There's a lot of uh, first, my first time doing my life, my first time doing this interview. I'm sure that Rebecca, you also have the same experience as me. You know, we yes. started learning, we started learning. And it was like, it's, it's really amazing. Learning has been never ending. And because of this business, at 40 years of my life, at 40 years old, I started to learn all over again. Really to learn. It is something that, that, that belongs to me. That belongs to me and no one else. I have a lot of my first. I have, I'm happier now. I was out of my self-victimizing mode. Yes, really, I can go on and on and on. Rebecca, I go on. But <laughs> all these are the, the, some of the few biggest changes, the few biggest, it's like how to say, it's phenomena. It's, it's like the whole world has changed for me. You have to come in and experience it yourself. I'm sure, Rebecca, you are experiencing it already. But those who yes. are not and watching this interview, or, uh, you know, wondering, has been wondering for a while, chance upon this business, and thinking, what is Elin talking about? Come in, try it experience it yourself never try yeah. never know <laughs> yes thank you very much i was just gonna ask you what advice would you give them but i think you just gave them one uh good piece of advice to yeah everyone you know um just check out this uh business by registering your name and email to be able to you know have a have a whole of the information that we have, you know, why we ask you to register is uh, because yeah. we we want you to get to know more instead of us telling you bits and pieces here and there. You can have the real detailed information from the workshop and uh, the information session. Yeah. Yes, the webinar is 90 minutes. That is the reason why the webinar is in place in the first place. Because if we are able to explain the whole the whole model in a few words, we would have done so. Why would we ask you register, register, watch the webinar? It's 90 minutes. Can you imagine here we have we have speak so much? It's uh how long is the interview? Uh less than 20 minutes, and we have we have shared. Yeah talk about so much more okay imagine 90 minutes you're going to sit there okay listen what i'm going to explain to you and at the end of it do you understand no we are visual creatures we visual creatures the presentation that's uh powerpoint slides and presentation is visual we we, we absorb better and also that uh don't don't just uh, stop there I'm sure that after watching the 90 minutes or even before you watch you wonder what is it about it's a very whole new concept Ask us, prop further, and don't stop there. And everything, everything you know, on your head, and wonder, and wonder, and wonder, it will go nowhere. It will go nowhere. Just take the step that, like myself, like Rebecca, we have a lot of questions at the very beginning, but we seek further. We seek further. We we see it on, on you know with our own eyes, and we decide for ourselves. And here we are into this business doing this interview and grateful for everything yes that we started <laughs> yes thank you so much yeah it, it, it's indeed um you know uh like what elaine said uh you never try you never know unless if you watch it you wouldn't know what we are talking about and uh if uh it's possible yeah, take a look at it. Even if you do not have the full 90 minutes, there's always a replay. Uh, you watch it halfway, there's always a replay afterwards. Yeah, go ahead and um, there will be a link um, sent to you. Just, um, yeah, just take a look at it and, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions because I'll always be here to answer your questions. And even if I do not know how to answer your questions, I have my coach, Elaine, and <laughs> I have uh, my mentor as well. So no worries. Yeah, we 
I have a supportive team behind me to, yeah, to be able to answer all your big questions. So thank you very much, Elaine, for taking your time out. And uh, thank no, you, everyone, no. for tuning in. Yeah. Um, so uh, thank you for your time. We'll see you tomorrow, uh, 8 30 a.m. again. And uh, stay safe and goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Elaine. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.